Leo. So let's jump straight into it and start with love and see what's coming up for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, two of pentacles and two of swords, ace of pentacles and the ace of swords. There might be multiple options coming up for some of you in love. Two aces indicates two new chapters in love. Now, I'm not sure if this is like um, additions to the family or two different people or even a second chance with someone that you've previously been connected to, that you've held on to. Remember that four is really holding on to something here. So it might be a fellow fire sign. It could even be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's coming in for a second chance. Um, someone might be going into it a little bit blindly, however, and one of you might be in two minds about the situation. For the two of pentacles often indicates a bit of a juggling act, trying to manage things. Um, the boat symbolizes protection, but you can see the water that the boats float on, and it's really, really uh, choppy. So it can be a bit of an emotional roller coaster for some of you, I feel. You're trying to manage things, or someone's trying to manage the relationship, or where someone's just surrendering or giving in. Now, that's not to say they're giving up necessarily, but there could be tendencies of someone around you, or you might find you're starting to just submit to someone and just try to conform to their ways. Now, submission does give another person power, okay? Um, and power can definitely be seen here with the Ace of Swords, because to have that sword in your hand does represent courage, it does represent valor, and definitely represents power. So it's either someone's gaining more upper hand in a relationship, or someone is becoming more submissive, evidently, in a relationship. Now, yes, it could indicate that things are more one-sided, as in one person has to fight for it, the other person has more stability, is more the sun, the other person is trying to fight away the negativity, um, the bad, uh, uh, I guess, the toxic energy in a relationship and the obstacles. Um, there could also be someone reaching out and they're wanting to negotiate or sacrifice something for you here. The three of... Pentacles can be sacrifice negotiations, a um, bit of it, I guess, trying to talk things over. He tries to sell something, so it could be someone's trying to persuade you of something, and maybe that's where you're in two minds. Maybe that's where you're a little bit hesitant, and you don't want to come across as the fool. You don't want to be played as the fool, Leo, or someone is feeling this way about you. You might be trying to convince them of something, trying to reach out to them, trying to make things civil, maybe if it's like a separation. Uh, maybe you're trying to persuade someone to come back to you or you're trying to persuade someone that, they're, that they've changed or they're not being their best version towards you. Um, and then suddenly that creates a, a, a shift. OK, but um, there is a journey, OK, that the three of pentacles is a trine. A trine is birth, life, death, beginning, middle, ending. So I feel I feel for a lot of you, there is talks about a journey. Now, sometimes this medieval structure can be seen as a wedding, um, as, as a church. Uh, so for some of you, it could be that you're planning something for the future here that might involve a wedding. And it is talking about legacies here and a lot of pentacle cards are definitely coming through here. Um, some of you are meeting someone new face to face, could be through work or some sort of event, could be at the shops, for example. So some of you are meeting someone special, possibly a face to face meeting, um, and that's going to venture into something. Um, you're going to go into it completely unaware though, and some of you might already be attached to another person when this person comes in. They might be younger, they could be coming up as the Page of Pentacles, um, but there's something very deep and nurturing about them, um, which you'll come to find with the Queen of Cups. Now she, much like the King of Cups, can represent falling in love. She is the epitome of empathy, of that motherly tenderness, of tender love and care, compassion. So, and she holds the Holy Grail here. So there's something of value that's coming in around you in your love life, or there's someone that's worth fighting for, either giving a second chance to, maybe that's the important decision that needs to be made. But there's a fixation that's going to turn into love here, going from the page to the queen, 
which is quite powerful, quite a massive shift here for some of you Leos. So I feel with the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups showing up here together, A could point to two very different types of connections or it can point to these connections because the Queen is higher than the Page. This connection goes from admiration, fixation, very strong physical attraction to something very, very deep here. Angels adorn her throne. And we all know that this little angel here does represent Cupid. So um, a bit of smitten energy here. You might even be receiving signs from the universe, divine source, the hand of God, divine intervention, pointing you into the direction of someone around you. Maybe that you hadn't considered, maybe that you were tossing up between. Suddenly there's going to be some sort of sign or symbol or synchronicities that may draw this person closer to you. And you hadn't really planned this out, Leo, but that might be uh, panning out for you in the month of December. Let's move on, however, and have a look at your career, uh, business, finance, creative pursuits, and see what's coming up in terms of the general cards and the in-depth cards as well. Leo. Okay, there might be some things you need to clear up in terms of communication. There could be some miscommunication or deception. There might be someone avoiding you or avoiding telling you something. And you probably, you're probably right about having your intuition or being on guard about a situation. So the seven of, you know, seven of swords can be beating around the bush, not being very direct. Um, so something will need to be cleared up. And I say it will need to be cleared up because the King of Swords represents openness, honesty, and being very, very direct in a situation. So the fact that he's come up, I do feel like if you've needed to clear the air or there's something to do with paperwork, correspondence, miscommunication or mishaps that may occur in December, these will be taken care of. Or you might want to keep an eye out, double check, triple check documents, correspondence and emails or the way communication is being carried out. Um, what I love here is that you also have an ace in your career. So there's definitely a new chapter, new beginning for some of you in terms of career paths. Now you are the ones, again, divine intervention, things that you're going to be attracting. The sun can represent um, individuality and the self. So there's something to do about self-improvement, accolades, goals, or um, excelling in your skills. Now, the children can definitely symbolize learning, development. So some of you might be um, undergoing a training seminar or you might be taught something at work, whether this is um, a department that's actively teaching you something like to be part of the new software or a new restructure or whether this is a situation that occurs and you learn a lot from it. The sun can definitely be um, illumination and shining light on a situation here or a path of some kind. Um, but again, the sun is Aries, so you've got double Aries here, double Aries energy, so a lot of momentum, a great opportunistic time if you want to start your own independent ventures, um, great jumping off point here. Make sure you do your research, however, with that seven of swords, because whatever sort of legacy you're creating, you want to make sure you're in the king of swords energy, not in the seven um, to make that successful. Some of you might be working from home. Okay, you've got the Ten of Cups, either starting a family business, being a part of a family business, um, having more flexibility or autonomy to work from home, maybe. The rainbow can represent creative flair or harmony in working environments. So if things have been a little bit tough, I feel like there's a very close-knit group that's going to be formed, which you might be a part of, um, that's going to really have things um, pan out quite smoothly in the workplace in the month of December can also be a water sign a cancer pisces scorpio you did have that cancer moon here that comes in and is bringing in a lot of creativity um, you might be taking time off as well some of you to spend time with your family you sort of have two family cards here so some of you might be taking time off um, or you might receive a bonus or an announcement like it's your long service leave or your your you might be encouraged to take time away from work time off um, and you might utilize that paid time off to spend time with your family for some of you. Um, but for, some, uh, for others, it's definitely creativity um, or completion. 
especially if things have been dark and stormy and, and uncertain because the rainbow follows the storm. So if you have had these moments in your career, in your creative um, pursuits, you know, things have been a little bit chaotic. Maybe you haven't completed something. Maybe there's been a lot of competition. Ace of Wands can definitely be competition, as can the Seven of Swords. Jealousy, insight. Um, if there's been a lot happening, um, I feel like the rainbow is finally coming out. So you're nearing the end of a cycle, of a toxic cycle, or you're nearing the end of a somewhat tumultuous or chaotic work or creative, like a professional cycle of some kind here, and welcoming in more positive, harmonious energy, which is really very beautiful. The sun card could also be a reminder here that you need to be more open, uh, maybe open to people's opinions, maybe you need to be more open-minded to the career paths you're wanting to take. Um, but things are in full blossom. I love that the sunflowers is, uh, are blossoming. The child is very happy. Um, the child represents purity. So I feel like some of you are coming back to basics in terms of what you're doing creatively or career-wise. Um, finding your passion again. It could even be revisiting childhood dreams. Um, some of you might be going on a new destined career path. You might even be offered multiple jobs, multiple career paths, one of which ties into something you've dreamt about doing since you were either a child or a teenager. So um, it's quite nostalgic here, but childhood hopes and dreams are coming up. So for some of you, there'll be an opportunity to achieve a childhood dream or attain something that you've wanted from a very, very early age, maybe not necessarily infancy or adolescence, um, but something in your early years uh, that you've wanted for a very, very long time. Now, some of you might be um, going into an industry where you're working with families or children, tourism, okay, people um, that have gotten themselves in foolish situation, theft, fraudulent activity, uh, for example. But there could definitely be an air sign here that's quite influential or powerful. I don't know if it's the same person with the seven and the two of swords energy, but this person is coming up as influential and they may have announcements the King of Swords is seen as someone very well educated and often involved in legal industries. So there could be a representative, a scouting agent, um, an intermediary, uh, someone of, of some sort of power or connection that's um, offering something to you or will be coming in around you here um, in the month of December. I will leave it at that though, Leo, for your December extended reading. Thank you again for joining me. I do hope you have a lovely month. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all the best. So take care and bye for now.